A sunny day and young Cape Tonian Toby Schechter, the son of former Formula One world champion Jody, has pole position for the first time this year, a feat that both he and his mother are delighted about. Behind him, as expected, the two men battling for the championship at the moment, Mark Gleed and Grant Orbell. An excellent fourth for Graham Coleman, Graham Hepburn in fifth, and Johan Ferry now in the new Reynard in sixth position. Yeah, um, I'm very happy. Um, I, I enjoy this track. Um, uh, we've been working hard uh, this weekend, and the results have come out. I think for the Schechter family, it's a great day. It's nostalgic. His old man was out there 25 years ago, he did it. And after five races, Formula Ford this year, he's got his first pole, deserves it, I'm happy. Pam Schechter, a big supporter of young Toby, Brian Hoskins gets them going into race one and a good start for Schechter as the rest of the field of 20 cars flies through towards that hair-raising Potter's Pass. And in Class B, it's young Gary Mortimer who leads the charge from Ian Smith, the championship leader in that class. Gleed holds stations with Schechter in close pursuit and Orbell right up his exhaust pipe. Behind them, Graham Coleman having the best race of the season so far in his Van Diemen. Behind him, it's Grant Simpson and Mark Elisov, both of them from Cape Town. Copacabana had been a treacherous part of the circuit for most throughout the course of the day. Mark Elisov, one of the casualties. Up front, though, it was Orbell who was now battling for the lead from Mark Gleed, the championship leader, and behind Schechter holding stations in his familiar third position. All three of these drivers, definite contenders for the grand prize in Formula 4 this year, the chance to race in the British Winter Series. From Cape Town, Andrew Grace lost his nose cone behind him. A battle continues in Class B, Ian Smith still behind Gary Mortimer. By now, it's Orbell who's pulled out a small lead over Gleed and Schechter going through on the inside, going into the main straight, trying to get the advantage. He goes wide though, and Gleed holds on to his second spot. Behind them, Coleman still leads from Simpson and Eliasov. When the drivers came to East London, Grant Orbell had a slender three-point lead over Mark Lead that had changed throughout the course of the year, and the titanic tussle continued. The three older Class A cars of Graham Coleman, together with Grant Simpson and Mark Eliasov, were still in battle for that fourth position. Orbell in his Van Diemen was up front, but Schechter was trying very hard to slip through on the inside and did so over his compatriot from Cape Town, Mark Lead. This is the newest car in South Africa at the moment, the 96 Swift, brought in earlier this year by the Schechter family for young Toby. Up to Beacon and it's Gleed pressing very hard in the car that last year won the championship in the hands of Gary Hyman. Not too far off the pace, it was Graham Coleman who was still in fourth position, but behind him, things were hotting up, with Eliasov being pushed all the way and going through on the inside, the top car, Reynard of Ian Shrosby, his teammate, Johanna Ferrie, now in the Reynard for the first race, right alongside as they go down past the start-finish line. Orbell's league started to become somewhat comfortable, and behind him, two Cape Turnians were changing positions once again, with Schechter diving through on the inside. A bit of a locking of brakes by Gleed, and once again, Gleed had the better line going through and taking back the second position. Gleed may have had better handling on his Swift, but the newer car of Schechter had the pace, and he went through, but once again too wide going into the main straight, allowing the Cape Tonian to pass him again and hold on. And it was Orbell who came through in fine style by a few seconds to win from Gleed and Toby Schechter. Orbell had won his fifth race of the 1996 championship in round 11 from Mark Lead in the Penny Pinchers Swift, Toby Schechter in the Auto Grip Swift, and Graham Coleman, a fine fourth, Ian Schrosby in the top car, Reynard taking fifth, Johan Ferry, his teammate, in sixth position. Gary Mortimer won Class B from Ian Smith as they readied themselves for round 12 of the Sassel Formula 4 championship. Mark Lead makes an excellent start, beating Orbell off the line, further back down the field, lots of jockeying for position, and a bit of an upset in Ian Smith being taken off the circuit. Fortunately, though, he was in no way hurt. 
So Gleed had the edge over Orbel. Schechter once again in third position, but this time around, Graham Hepburn was moving up. Graham Coleman, unfortunately, had problems with the car and was falling back all the time. Orbel intent on making it a double on the day. Gleed just behind him, hoping to close the championship points gap. And Schechter looking for his first win of the championship. Graham Hepburn had unlucky years so far, falling out on a few occasions. Ian Schwarzby behind him has had similar experiences. Time marks on the road. Gleed pulls out to try and gain the advantage over Orbel, coming around into the ever quick Potter's Pass. Seemingly there's some kind of contact. Orbel goes wide, slides across the track into the sand, and that's the end of his day. Mangled wheel and wishbones see him retire from the race and give Gleed the lead which is built up fairly substantially now. Schechter behind them, and then the battle between Graham Hepburn and Ian Schwarzby in the Reynard is proving to be a highlight for their day. Meanwhile, all Bell's day is done as he retires to the motorhome in the pits and allows Mark Lee to race away from Toby Schechter. Here's a look at the accident once again. Orbel comes off the grass on the far side of the circuit, spins at two 360 turns, and eventually it's the front left tire and wheel that end up against the sand wall. Still very close at the top, Gleed has Toby Schechter right under his back wheels, and Ian Shrasby, who was battling for third with Graham Hopper and gets it all wrong, goes off, picks up a lot of dirt in the process, will try and come back, one lap to go. Here's the battle for the checkered flag. Toby Schechter and Mark Lead are virtually side by side going into Copacabana and a bit too much on the power from Graham Hepburn sees him locking up all the brakes. He goes wide into the outfield and that could well cost him a position. Schechter summonsing all the power from his Swift. It's Gleed holding the racing line. Schechter goes through on the inside on a bit of dirt and once again he'll go too wide allowing Mark Lee to come through. Gleed takes the checkered flag to increase his points lead by three over Grant Orbell in the championship. Toby Schechter, a fine second, his highest spot finish for this year. Ian Shrosby, an excellent third. Johanna Ferry, his teammate, takes fourth. And Graham Hepburn, his fifth, with Grant Simpson in the Van Diemen in sixth spot.